Let's check out some examples of how we can show a location on a map, send an email, and check for errors, all using implicit intent. Use an implicit intent with Action View to show a location on a map. To show a location on a map, you need to create the intent with Action and Data. The Action is Action View because you're showing information to the user. The Data is the map location you want to show. Android uses the combination of Action View plus GeoScheme to decide that it should launch a mapping activity for you. If you want to test this code, be sure to run it on an emulator or device that has a mapping app installed. Use an implicit intent with Action Send To to send an email. To send an email, you need to create the intent with Action, Data, and Extras. The action is Action Send To because you want to send a message. Note that this action matches multiple activities, email, messaging, etc. The data is Mail To to ask Android to select an email activity and ignore other activities that also match Action Send To, such as messaging. There are many options for the extras. The Compose activity will use the extras to pre-populate the editor with things like the subject and body text. Extras are optional, but can deliver a better user experience by pre-populating some of the email fields. Android uses the combination of Action Send To plus Mail To scheme to decide that it should launch an email activity for you. To avoid a runtime exception, you should verify that your implicit intent is valid before calling Start activity. Implicit intents are error prone. You cannot know ahead of time if the user's device will have an activity installed that can service your request. The Intent Resolve Activity method checks at runtime to see if Android is able to find a match for your intent. Resolve Activity uses the services of the Package Manager to perform its test. The Package Manager knows all the activities installed on the user's device. The Activity class has a Package Manager property that provides you with a Package Manager object you can use with Resolve Activity. Resolve Activity returns a component name object that gives you the identity of the activity that will service your request.